I think technology that have always interested me is the ones that help you avoid an accident. You know, ABS arrived, it seems like ages ago now, you know, which was fantastic. Then ESC came, which transformed, you know, so now this lane change on a motorway, you're not going to spin out and cause a bigger multiple crash. And now, of course, this anti-collision stuff, I mean, that's fantastic. I've done the tests where you're sort of driving along that road looking for number 39, number 37, number 35, you know, and you do look away. And all of a sudden there's a park car and these systems just stop you within inches. And so I think that's a fantastic move forwards and uh, that's really an expanding market now. Yeah, I'm always rather concerned that too much technology is going to spoil my fun and certainly all the supercars now are all coming out with the electronic flappy paddles so one of my joys of a manual shift is going. And I think as long as we try to keep all that as available that we can switch systems off, especially if you've bought a high performance car and you want to go to a racetrack and enjoy driving it, you know, hopefully the manufacturers will leave that open. But otherwise, you know, I don't mind people having a car drive for them, but just don't impose it upon me. My dream future car probably won't ever happen, but it's lightweight. I'd get rid of a lot of the uh, computers, perhaps, and I'd have a petrol engine, because that's what I enjoy, a <laughs> high-revving engine. I'm a total... Um, opposite to perhaps the way the world should be going and I understand that but, uh, but that doesn't mean to say I don't like electric cars I'm a big fan and I think now the, the, the better quality electric cars are coming out the Tesla the BMW i3 and that's fantastic and I think you know I would love to use those if I was a commuter but I'm not a commuter I'm a guy that drives cars occasionally would, li would like to go for a country drive in something that excites me and as long as we can both live together and not impose our views on each extreme then I think we'll all drive happily ever after.